that's about it. Well, if you guys did enjoy this, I always recommend you to join the guild. Poke the subs. Save some Yoshis. You never know. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Fooled you, didn't I? No, that wasn't the end of the video. Of course, you would see the minutes rolling. But as I promised, I have my convention hall, and I think it's one of my biggest halls I've ever done in my life. It's my first time doing a huge convention hall. And I know what you're thinking, what's with the huge boxes behind you? Trust me, I'll get to that, I promise. Like, you won't regret. However, the first two items that I actually got, you know me. You've seen my collection. When I saw these two for a really good deal, I had to get them. And I know, Funko Pops tend to be a little bit on the expensive side, especially for conventions. But this one was actually like a 2 for 10 and I didn't mind. So look what we got. We got Darkwing Duck for all of you 90s babies out there. Darkwing Duck. And Zero. Zero is honestly like my favorite. Both of them are my, like, my favorite, but this one I screamed like a little girl and I had to buy it. He is so cute. Man, I love Zero. The cutest little baby around. Next up we have Togepi. Look at this. I was actually hoping for like the bigger one, like the, like not the huge one, but like like the one that's almost close to the actual size of a Togepi, like in Pokemon. But look at this, look at my baby. Look at that. It's so cute. I love I love the colors. Like I love how like everything's just so so nice together and it's just so cute. Ah, Togepi for the win. To oh, Togepi for the win. <laughs> Now, rolling along more into the Pokemon theme, I actually have two crop tops of Pokemon. I normally don't get um, crop tops that much, but we got Jigglypuff. Don't worry, wash your dryer. Jigglypuff, look at that face of anger. I had a happy one, but I feel like this one suits my face more. Because it more was like a little puppy face. And also, I got this one of Togepi. Hillary still looks kind of weird. But Togepi for the win, and it actually has a face on the other side. It's not like the Jigglypuff where it just doesn't have it on the on the back side. And also, for any League of Legends fans, I get to be a Poro. I actually found this I actually found this Poro headband by chance because I saw someone in the convention wearing it. I'm like, hey, you, what? Tell me where you found that. And I had to like walk through so many different roads just to find these. But these are honestly the cutest little things. I might actually wear this for the rest of the video. But look how cute! Look at look at the little poros. I suppose you can actually like take these fluffy things off, but what would be the point of that? There's no point. But man, poro queen all up in here. Ugh. I, I just like the fact that they're so like they're so soft and squishy. They're adorable. If you don't have these, recommend these. Hardcore. But as you guys know, I'm also a bookworm, so I actually managed to get myself a new book. It is called Sleeper Protocol by Kevin Kinberry. Oh, Eikenberry. Oh, wow, actually, you know what? I used to have a class name whose last name was Eikenberry. Huh, the more you know. Basically, it's it's actually the author himself actually knows or has some information about being an astronaut and everything in regards to that. So he actually knows what he's writing about, which is actually one thing I really like sometimes with authors when they write stories like these, that they actually have knowledge on it. So you know the information is actually somewhat accurate and true. I've read it so far and I really enjoy it. And if you want to read it, it's called Sleeper Protocol. Really great, honestly. I love, honestly, I live for the text formats. Like I, I love the text formats galore. Now, I know what you're thinking, where are those posters you have been preaching about for like 50 trillion streams already? Don't worry, I got you. So I got them right here. Basically, I wanted the metal sheets, but the guy kept saying, oh, we don't have, we don't have. Don't advertise if you don't have. But yeah, look, I got Reaper for all you Reaper mains and fans. I mean, I'm not a Reaper main, but they didn't have Diva or Genji or Hanzo, which was very sad. But honestly, I like this one. I love the. I honestly love how it looks. It just it looks so menacing, but so cool. <laughs> oh my god, my nose is stuffy. Next up, we got Kirby. Oh my god, this smells funny. 
But anyways, look at look at this old cute. Like I love this. Shout outs to the artist who made this. Ravelin, you're amazing. Yeah, she made all of them. And last but not least, remember we are Yoshi Guild, therefore your leader knows what you love best. Therefore, Yoshi. <laughs> Look at the little Yoshi. I'm gonna be hanging up all of these in the stream soon. I just wanted to show you guys first, just so you could see it. But yeah, Ravelin, you're amazing. I love the artwork. I wanted them on a metal sheet, it would have been so great. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the bulk of this video, the boxes. The boxes are from a company called um, Toy Nick. And basically what, what they were selling a lot, like it was a huge stock. What you do is they're, they're literally mystery boxes. You buy whichever one you want and normally these came with about 10 to 11 items. This one came with almost, I think, I, I want to say 15, I'm not too sure. It's all jumbled up <laughs> on the inside. But you buy the boxes and you see what you get inside. Normally a lot of the items tend to vary in price range. So supposedly this has almost like 200, 350 dollars worth of items. Versus this one that has 150 to like the 250, supposedly. Like I don't know. But I'm just gonna open these boxes and show you what I got. Sadly, I will not be keeping most of the items because of the fact that I have no room in my own room. <laughs> Therefore, I really have to try and get rid of these. So I'm just going to showcase them and then I'll link in the description down below where you can get them. Nail this. Oh god, no. Oh. But here- Ooh, Tetris! Guys, it's hip to be square. It's actually pretty cute. I like this. Yoda! Ah. Oh. That's pretty cute. I don't, it says it talks, but I don't know where the button would be. I'm just not going into too much detail about it just because of like, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, this is what is making noise. The Death Star. Uh, don't make me press it again. I don't want to press it again. Ooh, Doctor Who bags. This is cool. Oh, there's two of them. Look, I love this. This is nice. There's like two of them. Oh, cool. I actually went to go see this movie. It's the Anchorman. You get button pins. That's adorable. I like this. Oh look! Harley! It's like a Tsum Tsum, but it's square. That's nice. What is this? Is this from Space Odyssey? Some of you guys aren't familiar with Space Odyssey, but if you are, the personal monolith. Hilariously, when I first saw it, I was like, is this like a Star Wars reference? I was like, wait, no, this is Space Odyssey. Ooh! Oh! I get a boss key! I get it. Can I open it? Well, you know, I might keep this. Wait, let me open you. Let me open. Let me open. Do I get a boss key? Can I, can I, can I do something? Oh, oh, look. It's so shiny. Oh. <laughs> look. Look at this. It's an actual boss key. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. This is so far. There's like one thing on the side that I pulled out too that I think... I don't know if I should keep it or not. So you can have your own anchor bed. <laughs> but I don't know who, who is it this? Why? Why is this a thing? Like look at this. Literally, I know you can't see it that well, but it's an actual bust of this guy. This is funny. Let's see, look. This is this is hilarious. I'm dying. I'm like dying a little bit on the inside. That's the first box second box. Ooh! Oh, I used to love shopping at Thing Geek. Look! Super dad and it has a little cave. I love it. Like it's literally a little Superman cave. Super dad. I'm gonna actually give it to my dad. Oh, look! Pants vs. Zombie. I remember playing this game growing up. But uh, I don't know if I've played the second game. I remember playing the first game, not the second game. What is this? Like a tin. Oh, it's a tin lunchbox. Vapor containment strike. I don't know where this is from. You know where this is from? Let me know. Because I literally don't know what this is from. But it looks good though. Like, I, I like the detail. Huh. This could have been useful in school for me. I could have liked it. Ooh. I feel so bad because I've never seen. I've, I've heard of Breaking Bad. I just haven't seen it. So this is. Well, Saul Goodman? 
I not call him Paul, it's all good. I guess. From what I'm understanding. Strange. Oh! I get another one, but I just I'm not gonna show you, it's fine. Let's see. Another lunchbox. It's the same one again. I got the same button pins. Ooh. Oh look, an attack on Titan. I don't know if I wanna open it though. Cause the thing is mmm, so tough. Yeah, I'll just leave it as a mystery. Leave it as a mystery. Cause I I wanna be surprised. <laughs> it's a coin wallet, but it's Mario themed. Oh, this is so funny. And what is this? I don't know what this is. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's like a Rubik's Cube. Oh, because it ripped a little bit. But it, you can't really see it, but it's like a Rubik's Cube. It's actually really cool. Speaking of Rubik's Cubes, I actually got a Rubik's Cube. But it's in, it's themed as from Portal. And I think that's it for like the second box. Now it's time for the third box. Now for this one, I actually have to like sit up a little bit. Now supposedly in this box, it's, it's supposed to have, I guess, better items. I don't know how or why. Oh, oh, I see why now. <laughs> I see why. Oh, look. Had to take a break, but it's okay. This is actually really cute. If you're familiar with the game Space Invaders, it's literally a knit scarf of the game. Look at that. I remember I used to play, it used to be this little thing, which is obviously like a little shooter, and you just shoot the little aliens and the lions. It's so cute. I like the fact that they actually like the title and everything. It's adorable. If it wasn't so darn hot here, I would have wear it. What is this? What? You're kidding me. Apparently this is Catwoman. The thing is, I've I've seen every single Catwoman in the DC world, but this is very, I don't know what this is. It says Catwoman, but I've never seen it before. If you know a Catwoman, this is comment it below because I literally don't know. I don't even know this Catwoman. Strangest looking Catwoman I think I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, it has this has a knife on it. Well, not literally, but what is this? Killer Instinct, Shadow Jogger. I've never, never played this game before, but it looks cool. I'm just surprised you actually have this stuff in a box. Oh, wow. I like the details. And look, you can literally collect them all. Look how cool that is. Ooh, and you get an in-game unlockable. Maybe I might play this now. I don't know. Comment below if you actually like this, because this looks amazing. Now, I did see something here. What is this? Oh. The thing with me is I grew up with like the Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I wasn't like I wasn't like too crazy about them like everyone else. <laughs> but I think it's cool. Like look at this. You have like all the turtles, you got Mikey, Ralph, I think it's Mikey Ralph, Leonardo, and what is that one? And Don. I don't even remember Don. I know Leonardo and Mikey were like the popular ones. I'm so sorry, Don. Oh what? What why would you put this in this box? Yo! Any Hellboy fans out there? Look at this! It's literally a figure and the graphic novel. What? Why would you put this in a box? What? Man, you guys. My little heart. I watched Hellboy so many times. This is amazing. And it's literally like in perfect mint condition and everything. Looks like. Wait, is it? State of Destruction is the first volume of. It's, oh, this is like the first legit volume. Wow. Graphic novel and this together. You guys put so many amazing things in these boxes. Oh, my love. That is officially it. That is my convention haul. I promise this time. No joke and everything, guys. I was kidding in the in the intro. That was that was the full haul. That was me showing off everything. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll most likely be doing more 2D talks, maybe with Togepi by my side, I don't know. But that felt like Christmas. And I might actually start going to more conventions again more often. And uh, the company actually put um, these discount codes in the boxes. Since I don't really need them per se, I might do a giveaway of them. I'm not too sure if you guys would be interested. But I'll let you guys know on, on all my social medias and stuff. But yes, if you did enjoy this video, save some Yoshis, poke some hearts, show some love, and let me know what 
you liked the most about the haul? Or if you went to a convention, what did you get? And as always, I will see you guys with Togepi in the next video. <laughs> Bye! Thank you.